Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Sunday, March 15th, 2015, around 7.15 in the morning in Berwick, Massachusetts. It's going to be a cloudy day. Maybe some snow showers later on today. Could be an inch or two, depends on where it, uh, where it snows the heaviest. Some news to report, Boston Celtics beating the Indiana Pacers by a score of 93-89. The Celtics was trying so hard to get into the playoff positioning. And also, Notre Dame's ice hockey team beat the UMass Lowell Riverhawks hockey team by a score of 4-2 today, last night. To, to even a series at one game apiece, the rubber match is today at the Sangus Arena. Winner goes to the Hockey East semifinals in Boston, loser goes home. And today, today at 6 o'clock on CBS is the NCAA Men's Selection Show. The, the, the field of the 68 teams in the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament will be revealed, revealed and Kentucky has the number one overall seed. Some teams are going to have their bubbles burst. And that's about it on the news. My next subject is about my review of WWE's WrestleMania 2. WrestleMania 2 was held in three locations, New York, um, Los Angeles and Chicago, the three biggest cities in the United States, with the success of WrestleMania 1 in, in, in the Madison Square Garden, the WWE decided to expand WrestleMania to have it at three locations, the Uniondale Long Island, the Nassau County Coliseum, the Allstate Arena in suburban Chicago, Illinois, and the Los Angeles Sports Arena in Los Angeles, California. This was the first WWE WrestleMania to be on paid for you. They had kept capabilities, but there was still a lot of people who did not have paid for you capabilities. And they still had a close circuit locations and arenas and theaters across the country. And the, and they had so many celebrities at WrestleMania too, because it was a, at three locations. Some of the celebrities were um, John Rivers and G. Gordon Liddy and Daryl Dawkins, Ray Ray Charles saying, America the Beautiful, Herb, Claire, Where's the Beef, for the Wendy's. They also had Ricky Schroeder, Tommy Lasorda, and Robert Conrad at all the locations, some of the celebrities. And the announced teams in New York at Eland Dale Long Night in Newland was Vince McMahon and Susan St. James. Who Susan St. James is married to the chairman of NBC Sports, Dick Eversall. And here's the matches from the Unland Dale Long Island at the Nassau College County Coliseum for WrestleMania 1. I mean, 2. First match was um, Paul Mr. Wonderful Orndorff against um, Don the Magnificent Morocco with Mr. Fuji. This was a back and forth match and, and stuff like that. And the end of the match had both wrestlers counted out the lane. Hey, it was a decent match to kick off WrestleMania 2, but wasn't a five-star match. The next match was for the Intercontinental Championship. It was missed. It was Randy the Macho Man Savage with Miss Elizabeth against George the Animal Steel. Steel had an infatuation with Miss Elizabeth and stuff like that. And George the Animal Steel was one of the most famous heels in WWE history, but he turned face in 1985 and became a cartoon character. This match between Steel and Macho Man Randy Savage was goddamn awful. Savage just wins the match, retains the title because Steel was distracted by Miss Elizabeth. This, this, this title match for Randy Savage was awful. He should have defended against somebody else. The next match was um, George Wells against Jake the Snake Garbage. This was a total squash by the snake. Afterwards, Jake the Snake puts um, the, the snake over Damien over George Wells, and George Wells vomits. Awful. And the last match was a boxing match that was going to go five rounds. It was Rowdy Rowdy Piper, and his seconds were um, Cowboy Bob Orton, the ace, and boxing trainer Lou Duva. And he faced off against Mr. T from the A-Team. Mr. T had his, as his seconds the Haiti Kid Midget Wrestler and um, former Boxing World Champion Smoking Joe Fraser. This boxing match was a very decent boxing match, but in the third round, Piper used a body slam on Mr. T, automatically getting disqualified because you, the rules stated you couldn't use wrestling moves in the boxing match. And after the, after the match, all the, all the 
seconds fight among each other. This was a decent boxing match and stuff like that, but I think this was just trying to hype up the, uh, the like, the Piper Mr. T field. Now on to um, Suburban Chicago at the uh, All-State Arena. The announced teams were Gorilla Monsoon, Mean Gene Oakland, and Kathy Lee Crosby, who's famous for hosting Matt's incredible reality television show back in the early 80s on ABC. And here's the card from the All-State Arena. The first match was for the WWE Women's Championship. It was the champion, the fabulous Moolah, defended against Velvet McIntyre. This match was kind of a total squash. The match only maybe lasted about a minute and a half at Best. Like Moolah successfully defends the title against Felwick McIntyre, this, this woman's title match should not have been on the card, in my opinion. A second title, no, the second match in at at the All-State Arena was um, Corporal Kirshner representing the USA against Nikolai Volkov with his manager, Classy Fletty Blassie, in a flag match. And the winner of the match had the, had the option of taking his opponent's flag as well as his own flag. This was, you know, you know, a quick match. Corporal Kirshner beats Nikolai Volkov quite easily. And after the match, um, Corporal Kirshner decides not to take the, the Russian flag at, at well. If, and this match was kind of pointless if they were going to have a flag match with the, the winner not taking the flag. And then they had the 20 man over the top rope battle royal with WWE superstars and NFL players. And they had Andre the Giant, Big John Studd, the High Foundation, but the Hitman Hot Jim, the Anvil Knight, Hope, the Killer Bees, B. Brian Blair, Jumping Put Jim Blenzel, her, I mean, Hellbilly Jam, Pedro Morales, King Tonga, Mr. Lee USA, Tony Atlas, Ted R.C., the Bruno San Martino. Danny Spivey, the Iron Sheet, and a few NFL players, including William the Refrigerator Pelly, Wes Francis, Bill Frelick, and Tuke Tull Jones, and a couple of others. And the special referees outside the ring were Harvey Martin and Bears Hall of Fame linebacker Dick Buckus. Originally, it was going to be, originally slated in this battle royal was going to be Leaping Lanny Parfol uh, and the big cat Ernie Ladd, but I heard like Ernie Ladd had you know serious injuries and stuff, and he decided not to go. And the and also like they dropped Leaping Lanny Parfol, and they put the Heart Foundation in, in their place. And this battle royal was you know a typical battle royal. One of the endings had like Big Sean Stell eliminating William the Refrigerator Pelly. William the Refrigerator Pelly wanted to be friends with him, but then like Big John Stud got bounced over the top well by Pe um, William Pelly. The ending of the match had Andre the Giant throw Brett the Hitman hard onto his partner Jimmy Anvil and I had um, Andre the Giant wins the the battle royal because he's a king of battle royals and like special guest commentator was the big cat Ernie Ladd and the and the main event for the for the, the Chicago portion of WrestleMania 2 was a tag team match for the WWE tag team titles that was the challenges the British Bulldogs the um Davey Roy Smith and the and the Diamond Eye Diamond Eye Kid against uh, with Captain Lou Albano and Ozzy Osbourne who was a big rock star and also he's British against the Dream Team which was Brutus the Barber Beefcake and Greg the Hammer Val and all time with luscious Johnny, Johnny V and this match was the match of the night for for the WrestleMania in my opinion back and forth the British Bulldogs won the match and they took the WWE Tag Team titles I think this was Probably one of the best tag team matches in WWE history, and I think this match probably saved the show from WrestleMania 2 to be an, an absolute stinker. And then they go to Los Angeles at the Los Angeles Sports Arena, and the commentating team was Jesse the Body Ventura. He was a he heel, and he was doing play-by-play. -play. Elvira, the Mistress of Darkness, and and Lord Alfred Hayes, and now, matches at the Los Angeles Sports Arena were like this. The first match was Hercules against Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. That that was going to originally be Ricky the Dragon Steamboat against the Bret the Hitman Hart, but they scrapped that match and stuff. But like Hercules and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat was a kind of a solid match. It wasn't a five star, but it was a solid match to open up the Los Angeles portion of WrestleMania. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat wins it. 
The next match was adorable Adrian Adonis against Uncle Elmer. And this match really was awful, goddamn awful. Adrian Adonis won this by by beating like Uncle Elmer. Adonis did not have Jimmy Hart in his corner, his manager, but Jimmy Hart was at Los Angeles anyway because the match, next match was the Funk Brothers, Terry Funk and Dory Funk Jr., who had... Dory Funk used the name Hoss in WWE with Jimmy the Mouth of the South Heart against Junkyard Dog and Tito Santana. And this was a surprisingly a good tag team match. And, you know, despite like the, the dog being kind of out of shape, he, he did deliver a pretty good match. This was kind of a four, three and a half, four star match. And, and the ending of this match had Terry Funk used the megaphone on Tito Santana when the referee was distracted by Junkyard Dog and then Tito Santana does the job to I think cost Funk for the one, two, three. Funk Brothers win. And then the main event at at the Los Angeles part portion of WrestleMania two, it was for the WWE championship inside a fifteen foot high skill clip cage. It it was King Kong Bundy with Bobby the Brain Heenan against Hulk Hogan, the defend the reigning WWE champion. And this match was built up from uh, Saturday night's main event that happened in March when it was like the magnificent Don Rocco and he had Bobby the Brain Heenan as manager for the night because Mr. Fuji had the flu, but that was just to hype up the story to have King Kong Bundy interfere. King Kong Bundy injured Hogan's ribs and stuff's storyline, so Hogan had the had this ribs taped and a lot of people were saying Hogan's title reign was going to come to an end but this was a famous cage match and stuff. Hogan w wanted to attain the title against King Kong Bundy. Bobby the Brain Heaney took some great bumps. Bobby the Brain Heaney was one of the best bump takers of all time and stuff and a crowd went home happy when, Les when Hogan retained the WWE Championship. What I thought about WrestleMania 2, I didn't like it having that three locations. They should have had it at one big giant location somewhere, and they should have eliminated a lot of these matches. Like, um, um, they should have had, like, Jake the Snake Rob Roberts wrestle somebody else, because George Wells was a preliminary wrestler. And I also should have had Randy Macho Man Savage defend the Intercontinental title against Tito Santana, like or somebody else and they should have eliminated the women's title match and there was a few others they could have um, eliminated and kind of added and stuff because they we they missed a but the hitman hot wiki the dragon steamboat match if it was at one location they probably would have had that match it probably would have been maybe they might have stole wrestlemania too i think the best match on this car was the tag team title match between the Brit british bulldogs and the dream team and the rest of the card, like the battle royal, was pretty decent, and the main event at, at, at the steel cage match was pretty decent. The boxing match was, you know, okay, but the rest of the card was kind of filler and stuff. But the tag team match with the the Funk Brothers and and JYD and Tito Santana was awfully surprisingly good, and I give this WrestleMania maybe about an. Four out of ten stars was below average, but still, it was you know great. It was a you know WrestleMania was kind of two was kind of feeling their oats oats after like having a big spectacular at WrestleMania one. WrestleMania two two was like you know quality of matches were a little down and stuff below average, but still what WWE was what was. WrestleMania was growing and growing to be a big spectacle, and tomorrow I'll reveal WrestleMania 3 from the Pontiac, Pontiac Silverdome in suburban um, Detroit. This was the best, res biggest WrestleMania of all time, in my opinion. WrestleMania 3, I'll tell you more about that. I'll be back later on with two more video blogs. One will be about the 500 Gold Club in the NHL, and the third and final video blog tonight will be about on my personality profile this week will be all Montreal Expos and Montreal Canadiens players. The first one will be about the late great baseball Hall of Fame catcher Gary Carter, the kid. See you later.